Hey everybody, thanks for coming back and checking out this video. I wanna go through and really walk through my brand new, this is my 21 series, 21 year model, <laughs> Nitro Z21, too many 21s in there. Um, but Nitro Z21 uh, for this 21 tournament season and uh, definitely a, a great boat. I've had, had a Z21 since they came out. Um, I think the first one I had was like 2016. So excellent, excellent boat. So I want to go through a lot of different things that I have on this boat. Um, I finally got, I think, basically close to being ready to go. I've actually not put it in the water yet. Um, I'm planning on going tomorrow if it'll warm up just a little bit and then uh, get a few hours on it. But to start back here at the back, um, you know, obvious thing to start with there is that Mercury Pro XS 250, that V8, man, that's just an awesome engine. Um, I've had one of those as well since, really since before they came out um, to the public. but. On that engine, I've got a uh, tote rack, is what I run for motor toter. I've got TH Marine steer stops. Of course, uh, hydraulic steering, but a TH Marine Atlas jack plate. This is actually my first year running that black one. I've always ran just the traditional silver one, but really like the look of that black jack plate. Um, the bottom of this boat has actually got a lot of black in it, but uh, that, that really matches up well with that. I've got just a 23 Fury um, prop on here right now. I typically run a four blade Fury. I've got those on order, they've not come in, um, but that's what I'll be switching that out to here before long. I just like the whole shot that, that four blade gives. Of course, 10 foot talons. Um, Minn Kota just came out with the Raptors this year, but I chose to stick with the talons. I've ran these for several years. I love the way they work, and I love that that's a 10 foot model. You know, a 10 foot Raptor is gonna be another foot, foot and a half taller, so than what that 10 foot talon is. So I really like that. Plus with the talon, I'm able to put a rail blaze amount on here. That's how I run my GoPro um, for you know all that in the boat footage. That's exactly how I run that. Powered by a USB plug. I can run that wire in. There's actually power right inside that housing. So it makes it really simple to wire up. I actually did this yesterday in about 15 minutes or so. So it's really easy install. Um, really easy to do yourself, but I can run that to USB power. I have that to power that GoPro all the time. Let's see, as we move up here, just a little bit more forward, of course, all my talons are on tilt brackets. Those 10 footers are about the same size as the motor, but there are occasions where I've went under low stuff and, uh, and had to lower those down. I'm actually gonna go ahead and crawl up in here. Just open this hatch here. I have installed my Lithium Pros batteries in here already so i've got those in same batteries i ran last year in my boat got those in there again for this year and uh, we'll be running that same set of troller batteries excellent batteries that uh that keep me keep me powered plenty plenty well long enough i run three of the troller motor um, 100 amp hour batteries and one cranking 80 amp hour battery is what i run in there um, everything back here is pretty much still the same um, of course, these you know big storage boxes back here on the back. This one over here is full of all kinds of good stuff. Honest life jackets, gloves, buff, to, uh, toboggans, beanies, um, cold weather buffs. It is cold outside right now, so got all that back here. Of course, my cruise air seats from Dalco. Uh, last year, I think was the first year that my boat came actually with those from the factory but really, really ride in comfort with those cruise air seats. They're so very comfortable, really easy to adjust on the fly. Um, and yeah, make for a very, very comfortable ride on top of what's already good in this Nitro. Here at the uh, at the cockpit where a lot of stuff's going on, of course got my two Helix 12s here on a Bass Boat Technologies mount. That is far and away the best mount that I've used uh, to date for here at the console to run that, that dual system. We've got a couple more rail blaze mounts over here. One where I'll keep my phone um, all the time. I'll keep my phone on that lower one. And then actually the upper one over here, this one right there, I'm actually gonna put my aqua view screen. I've got a piece coming to mount that. And that's gonna sit up here about like so. It's kind of how that's gonna go. So I'm actually gonna have that aqua view um, I'll be able to have that in the boat. I, I'm still going to keep the uh, the cord reel like it is. Still going to run the battery power out of here. 
Um, most likely, I may switch that out during the year and may um, hardwire that in. But as of now, the plan is to still keep it keep it all on that. It's just a great way to manage that cable. But to have that screen mounted up there where it's going to be really visible, I'm really excited about that and uh, just the way that's all going to work out. Of course, everything else here I've got a talent switch. Um, you know the, the keypad dash. I've got Mercury Smartcraft gauges that are under there. They're kind of hard to see. Um, that Vessel View Mobile really comes in handy um, in that situation. Of course, big cooler, another storage box here. I've already got that loaded up with stuff. One of the most important things that I've had a problem remembering, just to be quite honest, um, is this spare tire key holder. If you ever have an issue along the road and you don't have this, you need a Sawzall to get your spare tire off. Been there, done that. There are less uh, less ideal ways to have to do that. Uh, in you know rod box, I don't have anything in here yet. There's no no tackle whatsoever in here. But um, rod boxes, are, of course, are really big, really expansive. I take out the rod tube organizer. I think a lot of pros do um, in their boats. I put all my all my rods in Bass Pro you know rod covers, and I can get 30 or 40 in there that way. Where with the tubes, you're going to get 20. They're going to be really well organized, but you're probably only going to get 20 in there. I'd like to like to carry a few more than that. Those Bass Pro rod covers um, work really well. Now, in here, the only thing that I have done is, so this is standard box. That's the way those look right here in the center. But a guy out of Middle Tennessee sent me these dividers a few years ago. I don't actually remember what the information on those are, um, but they work really, really well. I always put one in this box and then the one over here in this rod box, man, and it works great. This is where I'll end up putting my soft plastics. I've got each of these little individual bins. I can organize it that way. I can lay more rods across it if I want to, um, but it is a great system for me in this boat. So that's what I have over there. One more thing up front is uh, I actually took everything out of this box this year. I typically just take, there's like a divider here. I typically just take it out, but I actually took the ones on the side out as well and, uh, and really opened that box up. I'm gonna try organizing my boxes a little bit different. Another thing right here that is so handy, that's from TH Marine, it's a Tackle Titan. It's magnetic, they put that plate on there and then these these magnets stick to it and you can you can hang baits and stuff on there that's something i use probably every day on on the lake there's no doubt about it. that's something that i i mean i've always got baits hanging up there i've got stuff ready to go maybe hooks baits jig heads all type of stuff there's no telling what you're going to find hanging on those magnets but it's a great way to keep that stuff out of the way it doesn't get broken doesn't get stepped on doesn't get rusty and uh really easy to access one other place where I put a talon switch is actually right here, um, just in front of the kind of the passenger seat or the back of that passenger side rod box. And I put that one there because of the way we weigh fish. You know, I catch a fish, I swing it in the boat. I'm standing here with the official. I've got one here, but it's sometimes can be hard to get to, especially if there's a cameraman in the boat. So it's a lot easier for me to lean down here, hit that talon down switch, stop the boat, and uh, you know just. You can never have too many of those around the boat, I don't think. So up here, final final step out here at the front. Of course, men called to old tricks. Uh, you know, that, that's been the first one of those that I had up in La Crosse, Wisconsin. That's been uh, been a staple on my boat. Men Coda 360, same deal, actually. At, at a different tournament in La Crosse, Wisconsin was the first time that I got to experience um, 360. This is an addition for me here this year, this Boat Logics um, bracket. This is a, just a stabilizer arm for that 360. Um, I've seen other guys that's ran them in the last couple of years and they have really good results out of it. So just something to help keep that thing um, still and, and not worry about breaking it in big water. Two more Helix 12s up here on the front. Of course, the TH Marine Hydra Wave. Got it mounted there, my Talon foot switch. Um, this Helix 12 is actually on a TH Marine, a bridge, uh, Kong bridge mount. Um, just something to get that up over that foot pedal. And that's the one that I'll run my 360 on. It's closer, it's a, you know, a little bit easier to see. The front one, I'll run 2D sonar and mapping on that one. 
And then I actually have another power cord over here for a third Helix 12 that will be going up here on the bow, probably just mounted on a gimbal mount right here on the carpet. And that one is for Mega Live, is what that one's going to be for. So don't have that yet. I've got the unit, but I don't have the Mega Live actually at Red Crest. I'm going to get that installed down there. So really excited to see what you know what that live is all about. Not got to experience that yet, but should be a really excellent deal. So that's kind of uh, front to back on my on my nitro. The only thing else on the outside, uh, you know, on the trailer is on the wheels. I've not got my general tires in to to take and go get a go get installed on this thing yet. But they should be coming in here in the next few days. Should be able to get them um, in place before we. I have to leave for Red Crest. Something that I didn't even know was coming on this boat that is really cool is this little storage box under here. So that's new for 21. Uh, obviously doesn't look waterproof. Probably a good idea that, that they don't try to make it waterproof. But a good place to store some stuff. Uh, just a little, you know, little added storage. And the spare tire is actually kind of over here on the side where it was right under the front. So. Couple little changes, um, you know, to the trailer, but really the boat is pretty similar to what I've had had the last few years. Um, as far as on the wrap, back to the mossy oak elements, Agua pattern um, is what we'll be running again this year. My truck is actually at the shop getting uh, rewrapped as we as we film this. So there's a super cool minivan over there, though. Yeah, there is a great <laughs> Honda Odyssey minivan over there, chilling out waiting to pick up some kids. That's what that's, you look best driving in. Yeah, that's, that's when we're, we're really in our element. It's in that mossy oak, or not mossy oak, <laughs> in that Honda minivan. That's where we're at. Uh, so that's it. That's my 21 rig. And uh, yeah, excited to go. Let's get a few hours on it tomorrow. I've not even vacuumed out. Got to got to look at the dust down in here from where I drilled some holes and stuff. Not even vacuumed it out yet. It'll blow out tomorrow. It's going down the road. It'll take care of most of it, so. Um, I actually tried to vacuum it out, but the shop vac didn't have a filter in it. So when I turned it on, it blew more stuff in the boat than it vacuumed out. So I turned it off and ordered some filters for it. That's where we are. Thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to be sure to subscribe, like. Yeah, thanks for watching.